Yes! Ireland! Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Dublin, Ireland. This is Phoenix Park. It's beautiful, it's giant, it's green. It's one of the best places to run I've ever run in my entire life, but. Really mean streets, yeah. Max on the beat, yeah. Why I'm about that action. Really about that action. Today, the theme of the video, the story for the video is how fast do you have to run in order to catch a deer? Jake, where the hell are you gonna find some deer? Oh guys, they're, they're right here. They're all over the, they're all over the park. Someone's looking at me. I've been coming out here pretty much every morning for the last two months, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. They're all over the park and I do chase after them. And I'm just so curious how fast you need to run, like what specific pace is adequate to just, people will come up and touch them, like they'll feed them, you're not supposed to. We're gonna let them go because there's people here and we wanna find we wanna find the ones without people because I'm gonna I'm gonna chase after them. <laughs> I'm not okay, let me just full disclaimer, I will not be doing anything to harm or startle or terrify or hurt these these animals. I swear to god. The deer they're, they're they're somewhat used to people, like people always come through here, joggers and stuff and whoever. Um, and if I ever think at some point that they're like, I'm like harming or something, or I, I'll just, I'll stop. I'll abandon the attempt and who cares? It's just a video. Um, that being said. That being said, for those of you that are new to the channel, well, first, welcome. Hi, what's up? I'm Jake, nice to meet you. I'm a 250 to a marathoner, but that was a year ago. This year at the uh, Paris Marathon in April, my goal is to run a 239. I've been running for like 14 years, but three years ago, I ran a 445 mile. How was that? That's a that was many thousands of miles ago. Long story short, I can run quickly sometimes. And if I structure my training in just such a way like I happen to do for today, I took yesterday off so that I could today run quite fast. Like it's gonna be like, like I, I was gonna make this a workout. So hopefully this will be enjoyable for both you and myself because I need a workout. You guys need a few minutes of entertainment. And haven't you always wondered just how fast you have to run to catch a deer, a reindeer? I'm thinking it's gonna have to be under five minute miles but the thing with these guys is what's tricky that I've, I've tried before is that they don't they don't go in a straight line so I don't know if you guys know but it, it rains a lot in Ireland <laughs> who knew it rained this morning so the grass is actually really slippery I was slipping I was slipping on the way over here those shoes my jogging shoes they're just trainers they're not quick I'm barefoot it's easier to grip the ground I have faster turnover I can cut better right I took my shirt off because hey why the hell not you know it's only the middle of the winter January 10th up here in the northern part of the hemisphere Ireland <laughs> what's up? I've done about two miles of warming up I've done strides I've, I've done dynamic stretches I took yesterday off so a little bit of a taper for today's workout and oh I just you know I I can run quickly at times like I'm not I wouldn't call myself like a weekend warrior so there is uh, there's a good setup for this there's a good premise <sighs> have I set this up enough No, 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 cut him off. No, 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 no
move my stuff. Oh, we see you with your horse. Get down here. We see him roll over there. We just get up so I behind on that. Boy, there's a king croc right there. He must be four meters, 12, 13 feet long at least. This croc has enough power in his jaws to rip my head right off. Woo-hoo! I've got to be careful. So what I'm gonna do is sneak up on it and jam my thumb in its butthole. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> All right, so because it's getting dark, I need to switch cameras. It means this camera. It's better in the light. It's better in the dark. And I also put my shoes on, which I didn't really want to do because, well, it's awesome running barefoot and I run a lot quicker. Literally less weight on your feet to move. Faster turnover and such. But my toes are legit. Like, they're, they're like, it's not warm here right now. It's not exactly cold, but also max sprinting. I was doing like five minute pace for a second, but they just, it's really, I see they're going, see they just. I need to run, I need to run after them in a steady, pay at a steady pace. So I'm sure everyone's read that book. No, 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 look at that, they know, they totally know. To these guys so anyone who's right born to run has heard about you know the Tetrahumar Indians and how they like famously they can run down deer and antelope and stuff and it's like no big deal it's just about running at like a steady pace for a long period of time and actually there's a really good book I'll put in the description below basically talks about how we actually have kind of evolved uh, as runners, like we have this awesome heating system uh, so we can like outrun things like this over a period of hours because our cooling system, we can sweat, is much better than theirs, which they don't have so they overheat, right? No, I'll not be doing that today. But anyways, my point with that is I just have to go for a little jog. Just jog after them. I don't know. So since we have a second, whilst I mosey along here, we actually have some really great um, evolutionary, we have had some really great evolutionary adaptations uh, that kind of let us run. So first thing is the cooling system. That's really big, like really important. We can like, as you sweat, the air comes and it evaporates the water off your skin. It opens up your pores and that blood at the surface cools down. It gets cooler, but obviously our blood is circulating. And so that, co that cooled blood goes to your core and cools your core down. Pretty cool. And as long as you have water, you can do that for a while. Most animals don't, are we the only mammal that have Deer don't have that. Dogs don't have that. That's why they, they breathe out their heat. Anyways, there's a deer over there. Really beautiful park here. If anyone from Dublin or Ireland ever watches this, like, I'm not even kidding. This park is one of the best places I've ever run in my entire life. This surface is just, it's just so nice to run on. All right, I need a, my stuff's back that way, and I'm running this way. Maybe I can like kind of corral them to go that way. Oh, I've only done three miles. Other ways that we've kind of evolved evolutionarily for running, we have the hair in our head, right? And so like you could go in the middle of the day and go hunting and the, the sun hits your hair. And so it's like, it blocks the sun a little bit. So hair's cool. Also running at some max speeds, like what I'm doing right now, you burn like, you tap into your fat stores for energy as well as glycogen, but you can basically run at this pace for a long time. I don't know about you, but I put on some, some coating for the winter, my winter weight. So I'll be able to go for a little while. Oh, there's more. Oh yes. Oh my God, you guys, they're joining a bigger herd. These new guys are gonna be like, what in the, who is the, what's the, what's, we're supposed to feed us, not chase after us? Why is he naked? So there's people. 
people here. And they're just like doing their thing because they're people on a date or whatever. And they're just, if I go really slow. Oh, we're getting closer. Yes. I kind of want to go back. I know I'm here. All right, we're going to go fast, straight. So about this park and about these deer. So I switched my running schedule because I get off work and it's like pitch black out. And like you can't see anything when you're running. And I started coming out here before well, work, so I give it six or seven or whatever. And then I come out. And I come out here before work and honestly, it's just like just me. I see like two other people or something. 7 a.m. Cold, windy, Dublin, Ireland, winter, Blech. beautiful, just so cold. I come in here every morning and there just be like, just packs of these deer. God, there's, I think there's like a few thousand or something here, but they're everywhere. And I don't know, man, this place in the morning is just, it's gorgeous. This is gonna sound really sad, but I kind of like talk to them in the morning and stuff. Cause I'm like, I'm here in Ireland by myself. I didn't, I don't know any runners. I haven't really, I haven't really been looking, you know? And it's like, so you come out here and you just talk to the deer and they don't talk back. Why are they going towards the forest? These guys. It's been cold. It's actually not cold right now. It's only like 40s. I never thought I'd actually say those words out of my mouth. Like, it's only 40, you guys. This is the first time I've taken my shirt off and run in a while. Feels good. Feels natural. That kid knows what I'm talking about. Hey. Hey, get back here. All right, it's getting dark out. I don't know if you guys can even see me. I've only done four miles. Maybe, maybe I'm approaching this wrong. Maybe I should change, change it a little more. I wish I had some food. People come out here and give them food. There's signs everywhere that say don't give them food, but they'll come up to your hand. Don't feed the reindeer. Bleep. Hmm. I wonder what they're doing. There aren't any signs that say don't chase the deer. I just want to pet one. I just want to pet one like the antlers, you know? I put my clothes back on. I'm not happy about it. Also not happy about this whole deer thing. Guys, I think it's, I mean, they're still there. It's done like five miles. I don't know. Guys, it's dark. You probably don't see anything. I barely see anything. I think they're just gonna keep running away from me. I don't have time to just stay out here all night running after them. All right. The moral of the story today is I failed you. I'm sorry. <sighs> I won't be able to pet a deer tonight. I won't be able to catch a deer. No, I'm not gonna cheat and give them food. Anybody else who lives in Dublin, I'm not doing that, that's cheating. Also, there's, there's signs that clearly say, do not give the deer food. Okay, I just went to bed. Okay, that's all, that's all I got. Welcome to Dublin. Welcome to Phoenix Park. There's deer here, so you can come and try and, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Or maybe, maybe that's not it, you guys. Maybe that's not the point. Maybe that's not the moral of the story. Do you hear this? The pitter patter, soft pitter patter of their feet as they scurry along in the evening. The dew on the grass as they softly chew.
ranging wild, free, unencumbered, unenclosed. Truly, animal in their natural habitat. Maybe that's the point, you guys. Maybe it's about me. Maybe it's about just the sound of nature, being in nature, at one with nature, enjoying the journey, appreciating these beautiful, magnificent creatures. No! Ugh. I want to catch these damn things. No, it's stupid. I want to catch one of these things.